Sorry about that. I had my cover on. All right, guys, let's get it going. Uh, first of all, welcome to everybody who's already here. Junior Danny Duncan, I believe it's your first time, so welcome to you. I had a pretty good morning. I got a few things done that I want to show you guys, but first I'll tell you what we're going to do today. So we're going to get in golden hands, which was what Feasible wanted us to do, and I have to say I like the idea. It's basically that you have basically like a one in a hundred through one in a thousand chance of having golden hands instead of green hands. It doesn't affect the gameplay, but it does seem kind of fun. Kind of like shinies and Pokemon or something like that. Um, and then after that, we're going to work on the Oculus Store assets, which will basically just be a lot of Photoshop um, as we try to put together something that is kind of... I don't even know if I care that it looks good to the eye, just because a lot of the players will be coming from TikTok and whatnot, but we'll see if we can make it nice. Uh, let's see, Mr. Avocado, nice to see you guys again. Lucas, nice to see you again. Very cool. Let me show you guys what I did, because I, <laughs> I thought swinging was fun until I got this implemented. Let's see here. Yeah, Mr. Avocado is a cool guy, for sure. Okay. Also, a little trick for you guys. If you put a little piece of tape on the sensor, you don't have to, like, keep your face in it the whole time, which is really nice. All right, check it out. I sent a DM asking to be added to awesome AP board as well. If you could check it after the stream, that'd be awesome. Yeah, Danny, for sure. I'm So I get a lot of those DMs, so I'm just kind of going through them... I do it like twice a day, but I will definitely have you in by the end of today. Okay, so if you guys recall, you can swing. That's all good and well. Oh, and these balls are just, they help me debug. So you can get a nice long swing in. And then if you recall, you can build webs. And then if you recall, you can use them as zip lines now. But basically now what I did was I made it so that you can, let's see if I can turn here. You can uh, swing on the other webs. So that in itself is pretty cool. But it, it ends up becoming like really weirdly powerful where uh, it's hard to grab them now. Where basically you can make like these networks of webs trying to get this thing. I don't know what just happened there, but let me see if I can come back up to it. There's freaking webs everywhere now. You can basically make these networks of webs, and then even when you're on it, you can shoot, and then you can just kind of Huh. Let me try that one more time. I think I dropped it a little wrong. You can grab it. You can switch to this one. You can go. So you end up having... You can't rotate while you're on it because your hand will come off. But you can build these like really crazy web structures now. And kind of like change on a dime by just uh, adding that there. Sorry, I meant to add it and then jump onto it. But anyway, so I think that's really fun. So that's been pretty cool. Yeah, I'd like I'm not sure what it's useful for. But it is a lot of fun, for sure. So let's see. Will the balls be in the final game? No, they won't be. That's just, um, so in my testing tab, if I turn debugging off, they're gone. Um, same with that UI that tells me what my hands are doing. That just helps me. Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody would appreciate those balls in the final game. Okay, very cool. So let's work on those golden hands. This should be fairly simple and will require us to make a new material. So let's go over here. Um, I guess it would be an art, materials, layer, silkworm skin. So I have this silkworm skin. If I duplicate that, I get a second one. I guess we'll call it golden skin. And then it's using this shader called silkworm skin, but instead we're gonna wanna make a new shader here. Shaders will basically, a material holds a shader, a shader tells the game how something looks. So like the shader is responsible for this looking like a wall here, uh, looking like this rock wall. Let me turn this down a little bit. Is responsible for it looking like this rock wall. A material just holds that shader and allows you to put it onto objects. So you make a rock wall material, you put the shader on it, then you put that material onto this wall. So we're making a new shader, which will determine a more golden look. You know, and I'm no artist, but hopefully we can get it uh, going. 
When are they going to be able to play it? Yeah, about two days. So there's one major bug that I still need to fix and that I wouldn't be comfortable with you guys playing um, just because it would kind of ruin the game for you. But after that, you guys will be pretty much good to go and I'll get it submitted. Braithwaite. Also, good to see you here, Braithwaite. I have not seen you here before, so I'm glad you joined. Okay, so we have the Silkworm skin. Let's go ahead and duplicate it. And then let's rename it Silkworm Skin Golden. And let's hop in here. The reason we duplicated it is because it already houses a lot of the stuff that we needed. Um, so this is kind of how you make a shader here. And remember, shaders are what define how something looks. So basically we have a color and then we have black, we have two colors, black and green, and they basically feed into what's called an interpolation where it's basically, um, if I have two colors and this is black and this is green, the midpoint is gonna be black green and closer to green will be like green, but with a tint of black and you basically can go along that whole thing. So then I have dots and I interpolate it based on those dots value and that's how you get this, this whole dot hand thing going here. So I guess what we need, is to, uh, the bug is that the buildings move for some reason. I don't know why, but when you deploy it to quest, cause right now I'm basically playing on the rift. When you deploy it to quest, if you like look at the ground here, this building is kind of jumping in and out. Um, and it's really annoying looking. So let's see here. Silkworm skin golden. So I guess the first thing we could do Probably. I'm trying to decide between using a texture and just having it still be procedural. First of all, we might actually need to make a new shader here. Let me take a look at this. Let me go look at these materials. I'm looking for basically a different type of lighting. Um, not silk, player, silkworm. Nutty Soul, hi man, new to the stream. Can't wait to see the complete game and play it. Yeah, I'm excited for you guys to play it for sure. If you haven't DM me yet, do it because the slots are filling up pretty quick. I think it's. I think we're at like 60 people and you can only have 100. So hopefully you can get in there. So you don't have to wait like six weeks for Oculus to review it. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see, Universal Render Pipeline. Yeah, so this is complex lit one. Huh. Give me a second here, guys. I actually am not sure what this is, so I'd like to learn it real quick. I'm just gonna make a new material. I'm gonna come in here. It's gonna take 12 seconds to open it again. Um, I am actually not sure what it is about my projects that's making that happen. Is Super Ape Ball fully available to play? Um, it is available for play test, Carjacker, but it is not approved by Oculus yet. In fact, let's go see where they're even at in that process. Oh no, I shouldn't have switched off. Now I'm gonna have to wait that 12 seconds again. Let's do this real quick, then we'll go check. Discord, Discord, I am in one of the slots. Yeah, Fox, you're good to go. Uh, and the Discord is in the description. The um, description for the video. Okay, I don't really see a difference. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, I was just curious about that. Yeah. For those, for those of you who don't know, Carjacker actually helped me design one of the levels in that one. I think it's, um, an awesome APR, but I think it's 4-3. I believe it's 4-3. It's whatever one where you have to like scale down uh, a tower. Carjacker was pretty much the mind behind that. How would I know if I got a spot? Uh, you'll know, Braith. You'll get an email and I'll let you know. I'm going to DM you back. So no worries on it. Okay, cool. Are we in golden skin? We are. Uh, 
Okay, and that's what I was looking for there. The specular surface. Okay. Basically, when you switch the workflow to specular, it allows you to um, define a specular color. And let me see. Let me see real quick. I should probably start utilizing Photoshop more while streaming. I think it would be helpful as a visualization for you guys. Give me one second here. And you see some of this art assets that I was making already. I'm just going to explain some basic lighting to you guys real quick. I believe this looks best on three. And I need to switch that. Okay, cool. Okay, so basically, hey, Chicky13, glad you're here. So basically, the only reason that you're able to see the world around you is because the sun is beaming. If we, uh, is because the sun is beaming photons off of the things that you're looking at. So if you're looking at a wall, and this is a real like microscopic view of a wall. So this is just like an inch on a wall, you know, like a one by one inch that we're looking at here. Inch. And I'm realizing none of that's really important. Let me get rid of that. Hey, it's my first time doing the Photoshop thing, okay? Don't make fun of me. So, anyway, so, the only reason that you can actually see things is for two... There's two reasons you can actually see things. One, geez, I'm a mess, is that the sun is beaming photons off of an object. So it comes from the sun, it's sitting up here, it beams down, it hits an object, it reflects off that object and into your eyeball. So you have your eye here, and your eye, you know, it travels along your neurons to your brain, you know, and then you process it from there. But basically, if you're looking at an object, a couple things happen when this light hits an object. One, it goes into the object, it bounces around a whole bunch, captures some of the albedo of that object, meaning the color of that object, and then bounces out kind of in all directions. The other, called specular lighting, doesn't actually permeate the surface and just bounces right off. So it never gets filtered by the albedo of this object here. So like if this is a brown door, this door's brown. This light in here that bounced around, when it comes out, it's going to be brown. The light that bounces off the surface never really gets that. So if this sun is blue and it comes in here and hits this, the specular light that comes off of it will be blue. But it's important to know that the specular light does not actually bounce in every direction like the diffuse light does. It bounces just straight. So it kind of is, you're really only going to see the specular light um, of the light that actually bounced directly into your eye, whereas you'll always see this diffuse light. So I know that wasn't uh, super specific, but that's kind of the idea. So we needed some specular because gold actually has a lot of specular on it. Let's see. Do you make money off of free games? I do not. I do not make money off of free games. I just make friends, essentially. Okay. So now we have the specular color, we have the base color, smoothness, we could get a smoothness map. I wonder if I can get that from substance source. Basically we're looking for a texture that would kind of be the smoothness map of gold. And when I say smoothness map, I basically mean a texture that tells you. Give me a second here. I basically mean a texture that tells you how smooth an object is at any given point. So like, um, what's something around me that changes smoothness? I guess nothing. I guess everything around me is kind of consistently smooth. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. I just remembered substance doesn't actually work anymore. So that's unfortunate. That's normally where I get my stuff from. Let's see if we can get it from textures.
normal height, roughness, metallic, roughness, roughness, roughness. So we'll probably want this. Gold roughness. And then we'll grab this as well because we might want it. Gold albedo. And that should be good. Gold um, RGB color. So now we're basically just looking, we're basically just trying to grab properties from gold so that we can make something look like gold. So we need to know like, oh, what is the albedo color of gold? So you come in here and apparently it's this, and I think I agree with that more or less. And then it looks like that's 215, 183, 64. So then we come in here, we click on this, we do 215, 183, 64 which is totally, oh, okay, which is totally wrong. What did I get wrong? 215, 183.64. Oh, my bad, my bad. Um, the reason that that was wrong right there is because I had this on hue saturation value, which is basically a different way to describe a color than RGB. So if you have RGB numbers, you want to make sure that it's RGB when you do it. Mr. Avocado, the Discord is invalid, you're saying? Like when you clicked it, it didn't work? Huh. Let me see real quick. Actually, I can't see. Sorry guys, I think it's gonna do that. No, it looks like it's working. Okay, cool, so now we have this. Which is still looking kind of green to me for some reason. But anyway, let's do art. Textures, let's make a folder, let's call it gold. And let's import those two that we got. TikTok link still works, TikTok, try the link from TikTok. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. They should be the exact same link, I believe. Um, let's see. I actually found that silkworm outside. I was on a walk. So let's pass this in here. Um, Does this look gold to you guys? For some reason, I'm not really seeing the gold. Doubt your band. Sorry, Avocado. We'd love to have you if you can figure it out. Go to that. Player. 
Mm, let's make a let's make a cube real quick so that we can see this. We need to set this. Yeah, it does look desaturated, and I think it's the specular color on it. So let's mess around with it. Oh, not that. <laughs> and this is why I need an artist. It looks all... It's so hard to get this camera stuff right. It looks all right, I think. Maybe we need to see it on the hands. I don't believe gold is actually that metallic. Gold is like a weird, that's why people like it so much is it's, it's, if you look at its properties and how it reflects light as compared to other metals, it's like vastly different. So when you see it, it like confuses your brain and you're like, oh, that's, I don't know. I don't know metals that look like that. Food for thought. Does this look gold to you guys? I'm so colorblind. Maybe I can get like a gold or gold. Oh, you know what? I'm just grabbing from this. Okay, cool. Let's say that that's good. Good enough. You'll notice the difference, I think. And then let's go ahead and I guess we don't need to test it yet. What we need to test is basically a script. Okay, so now we just basically need to make a script that will switch your material. And so that should be fairly simple. La la la. Let's call it um, switch hand material RNG. Okay, and then you'll basically have, uh, let's see, public material um, normal mat, and then public material special mat. Okay, so we'll be able to assign both of those, and then we'll have a, I guess we don't even need to grab the renderer. And then let's give a summary to this script real quick. Change the material of the hand based on change the material of the hand based on a random number so that's cool and then we will come down here and in start so basically when this object is created it will say float num equals random dot range zero A one. Well, let's actually make this a little less confusing. Zero to a thousand. Okay. If that number 
is less than what do you guys think one in a hundred one in a thousand one in two hundred i'll let you guys pick Uh, I'm sure someone else can make you a new link. I think everybody has that power right now. If someone wants to do that for avocado there. All right. I'm seeing 500. I'm, I'm seeing a thousand. I'm seeing 420. A <laughs> thousand. All right. That's, that's two, a thousand so far. 154. If you guys can converge on something, I'll do it. Make it nice and rare. One in 500. I like 500. Let's do 500. 1 in 500. If it was going to be 1 in 500, that means that it's going to have to be less than 2. Less than or equal to 2, essentially. Actually, I think that would be 1 and, let's see what this is. That's inclusive. So basically, the way I'm doing that math is I'm saying, okay, this number can be anywhere from 0 to, let's see if it's exclusive. Yeah, it can be zero to 999. There are basically a thousand options that it can be. I am going to allow it to be zero, one, or two. That's three options. So I actually need it to be less than two. Basically, if it's zero or if it's one, which is only two options out of a thousand, then make it golden. Two options out of a thousand options is one in 500. Um, and if you're still confused by that, a thousand divided by two equals 500. Let's do average of all the numbers. If you run the average real quick of all those numbers, I'll do it. Make a blob fish toy to mess around within the game. Um, why the why the fish toy, Owen? And yeah, you can swing wherever you want. Okay, if it's less than two, get component renderer dot material equals special mat. Very cool. So we actually don't even need the normal mat. So that's all we need to do. Yeah, no, currently. So the reason I'm not doing it in the whole city right now is that it takes a few seconds to load up that scene if I do the whole city. And it's just quicker for me to develop when I can load the scene quickly. Because um, this is only really a small part of the city. The city is huge. Honestly, I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of it. Because a lot of it's just kind of small buildings that aren't really that fun to swing around anyway. Okay, cool. So we made that script. We made the um, material. Now we need to go into the hands, get the hand model and do s material. What was it? Switch material RNG. Cool. And then we'll set this to gold in skin. Very cool. I'm excited for this. I think this will be interesting. RNG, switch hand material. And if you guys have any questions about that script, let me know. I feel it was fairly simple and perhaps understandable. Five hundred. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna figure that out. Well, honestly it wouldn't be that hard to figure that rage geo out, but let's just leave it at five hundred. That number's a little too crazy. Thank you for doing that there. Do you plan on making multiplayer? I currently do not. And let's just make sure real quick. This one's got it. And this one's got it. Very cool. And so to take a look at what this actually will look like, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and copy this. And then we'll make it less than we'll still roll the dice a little bit. Don't know why, but maybe that'll make it more exciting for me to test. Oh yeah, I don't, I think it filters links, Carjacker. I don't know why, I don't know how to change that. And so now I don't quite know how to fix it. Do you, do you know how to turn that off Timor by any chance? All right, so let's hop out here and let's run it. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh. Um. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think I'll be. I mean, certainly it's always a possibility.
Sorry guys, my headset's not on for some reason. Oop, and then... Alright, let me see if I can fix my headset here. Now would be a good time to ask questions, I suppose, while I'm trying to fix this. Yeah, it's not a restart problem. I have this little piece of tape that I put in front of, or at least that I'm trying to put, in front of the thing that checks if you're in there. Um, the reason I do this, if you weren't in the beginning when I said it. The reason I do that is so that I can take the headset off and still test. Um, but I guess it had broken or something. So let's see. Hey, hey, fantastic spider. Glad you're here. Let's see here. We got a whole bunch of other people in here, so feel free to mingle and make friends. What is going on right now? Oh, it's just... Uh, Taking a second to load for some reason. <gasps> Golden hands. Oh, baby. They kind of look like I have gloss on them. I like it, though. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, very cool. Very cool. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. What's the ratio so I can do the math? So, CS Fox, it would be exactly the same as this one. It would basically be... Um, remember how it was 1,000 divided by 500... Um, and this instead would be a thousand divided by like five, nine, seven point six, six or whatever that number was. Um, and that would get you something less than it would be like 1.8 or something. And then we were to do that, we'd have to switch over from an integer to a float, um, float being a number. So in computer science an integer, that's something like one, two, three, 67, 98, a float can handle numbers with decimals. So it'd be like 1.29 this, uh, 78.94.0. So we would need to switch to a float because it's more precise. Um, considering this, that 1000 divided by 597.6 uh, is gonna give us a non-whole number. It's not gonna give us like one, two, it's gonna give us something that's not that. Okay, very cool. And let's just run it one more time. My code is correct as far as I can tell, but let me just make sure. If we get it, we'll know that the code is wrong. 1.678, okay, very cool. Do me a favor, yeah, what's up? What's up, Timor? Yeah, I can do that real quick. And apparently it's just that simple to become a mod. Okay, cool, so the hands are not here. Okay, awesome. Feasible, are you in here? You in here, Feasible? I know you wanted these golden hands. I hope you're here watching. Okay, very cool. So that is done now. Let's go into our to-do list. And let us get rid of gold hands, boy. Okay, very cool. Yeah, onward, people like that a lot. Hey, Dom, do you have any idea for release to Silkworm. Yeah, so it'll probably release globally in about six weeks. It will release to playtesters in about one day, two days, something like that. I don't have any 
anything else, I don't believe. There, there are a few things I still need to do that aren't on this list. One being make this video. Well, that's on the list. And the second being I need to move all the things in this testing scene over to the main scene and make sure that they actually work. Um, and then make sure... So I'll be honest with you guys, I'm actually not sure that it's going to run at frame rate on the Quest 1. I've run it on Quest 2 and it runs fine. And it gives me numbers for how hard the CPU and GPU are running. And they are low. So I believe it will work on Quest 1, but I'm not actually positive. So we'll see. Okay, very cool. Yeah, there you go, Mr. Avocado. Let me know if that works. It should be fine, CS Fox. I think it'll be good. Do you have the link? Very. Okay, cool. So. No, it does not make a difference uh, if you're from Finland or not. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the like legit game stuff. Let's um. But now let's see if we can make those art assets for Oculus, and I'll show you guys why I'm doing that. So when you submit to Oculus, you basically, here's your apps, if you go into Silkworm, it's just a draft right now. Oh, here's, an, here's another thing. We need to make the description real quick. The only thing that I definitely have in the description, uh, not golden hands, Oculus Store Assets. Okay, let me close that. And let me open up my Discord link. I'll copy it, close it. If you guys think you can come up with a good description and put it in the chat, I think we could probably we might be able to build something here. The only thing I'm gonna add is that join us, or actually learn to make games with us. Yeah, learn to make games with us. Learn to make games like this with us. You gotta get them pumped up, you know? Learn to make games like this with us. Maybe it's, Maybe it's want to make games like this. Join us. Nah, I like want to make games like this. Okay, very cool. Or for, is anybody writing any? Be on App Lab, Spider Man, please add some cars. Fox, I was joking, I didn't have the IRL homie. Spider Man copied you. Silkworm is an engaging game where you uh, and explore. Um, I'm glad you're so pumped about it, Fantastic Spider. Oh, you're writing descriptions. I <laughs> see, I was like, oh wow, he's really. Um, or for a more casual look into the making of these games. Follow on TikTok, and now I need to get my TikTok. Hopefully nothing inappropriate comes up here when I... So this is what it looks like when you have a viral video. Uh, let's see, how do I get this? Okay, I get it, get out of... Okay, enough of that, enough of that. View profile. I think this should be... Should be good. Let me... Here, let me give you guys this. Let me give you guys this link real quick and you guys click it and tell me if it works. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad everybody liked the Give Me Some Sugar. So funny. One person was not very pumped about it. They were like, 
you had me. You want, I wanted to play the game, and then I saw that joke at the end, and I said, no more. No more of this game. And I was like, all right, whatever. Like, <laughs> I guess you don't like MJ, or... This guy's, this guy's pissed about MJ. Okay, it works. Very cool. All right, and then let's see what we got. Dude, you were on 111 subs yesterday. You're at... Yeah, it's going pretty well, Fantastic Spider. I'm definitely happy about it, that's for sure. I'm glad everybody's so excited and pumped up about making games. Any place to send my email? Sorry, I'm just checking if you guys... Silkworm is an engaging game where you can web sling, crawl, crawl walls, and explore. I think we need a little more show, don't tell, on, on the description, Fantastic Spider. To say outright that it's engaging, I think, is like, like this game is fun. Play this game. <laughs> and they're like, I'll decide if it's fun or not. I do like the second part of it, though. Dom, Dom. What, what's up, Mr. Avocado? May I have mods? You cannot currently have mods, CS Fox. So I've actually known Carjacker for a long time. is why I gave him mod. Jump, climb, and swing your way through... Alright, I think I'm just gonna go comedic with it. Walking past a silkworm, do you ever find yourself wondering what would life be like be like if I were a silkworm? Wonder no more. Wonder no more. Swing, climb, zip line, jump. Let's put jump first. Jump, swing, climb, zip line your way. Your way through the city and Fulfill your destiny. And fulfill your silkworm. And fulfill your silkworm destiny. Alright, cool. That seems good. <laughs> silkworm are better than spiders, no offense. I think silkworm are, they are better than spiders. I would let a silkworm touch me. I would never let a spider touch me. Hey, and it looks like we got some more people. We now have enough people coming in and leaving that I don't quite, I can't quite uh, say hi to everybody or like, uh, I don't realize when you guys have joined is, is what I'm saying, but I'm very glad that you guys have joined. For those who have, uh, feel free to chat it up with the people in the chat. Uh, everybody's having a good time here. We're just currently making a description for the game. Uh, are you gonna add Easter eggs? Yeah, we have the golden hands. Yeah, uh, they DM me on Discord, uh, Timor. Do you ever find yourself wondering what would life be like if I were a silkworm? Wonder no more. Jump, swing, climb, zip line your way through the city and fulfill. And fulfill your. Your silkworm destiny. And fulfill. Okay, that should be good. Look, they wanna they won't let me add keywords if it's App Lab. They're like, eh, keywords. That's for the real players. It's not for you. Alright, the silkworm. Specs. I think all this is good. Additional details. Here's a quick tip for you guys. If you are submitting, um Silkworm is an open world action adventure game set in New York City. It is presented in VR perspective, showing the playable character, allowing the player to swing, climb, zip line, and more. CS Fox, that's actually a pretty good description, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> How to get the golden hands. Um, you just have to get lucky. You just have to get lucky. Well, let me use the Discord. Avocado, you seriously still can't get in the Discord? Did you get banned by somebody? Were you in there before?
is an open world action adventure game set in New York City. It is presented. Action adventure game set in expansive I feel like I can't say New York City because it's too close to Spider-Man an expansive Silky City What did you say? Silkhorn is an open world action adventure game. Is an open world. Is an open world action adventure game set in New York City. It is presented. Okay. All right. Walking past the Silkworm, do you ever find yourself wondering what if it would be like if I were a Silkworm? Wonder no more. Silkworm is an Open world action adventure game set in expansive Silky City. Jump, swing, climb, zipline your way through the city and fulfill your Silkworm. That's a great description. Thank you for that, CS Fox. I think that added a lot to it. That's an all around good description. It's comedic and actually gets you excited. I don't know if you can DM me on YouTube, Avocado, but maybe you could do that too. You got a B in writing, CS Fox? That surprises me. Sometimes the best writers get a B, you know? Maybe your teacher just didn't like you. Do you need any music? I could help you with that. Are you, uh... Are you, uh... You create music. Fantastic Spider. Nothing's there. Oh yeah, so here's a quick tip. They are going to make you, you can pretty much submit any game that you want to App Lab. You could make a game that is really just an environment. You could just take like an environment and have them look around and they'll accept it, they don't really care. The hardest thing about getting accepted I found was that you need a website and a privacy policy. So basically, um, if you need to make a website, just use Google Sites because it's free. You don't need to use Wix or anything. And then for the privacy policy, I think that you can basically, there's like some sites online that will allow you to create a privacy policy. You fill in like your company name and stuff. And then um, they'll try to, they'll say like, oh, it's free. And then right at the end, they'll say, it's not free. We lied to you, pay for it. What you can do instead is just take the snipping tool and just take pictures of the privacy policy and then put it into a JPEG to text program, which you can also find online, and then you just copy all that into a separate Google Sites uh, thing that you make. So that took probably like an hour to do, and now I just use the same one each time. Yes, indeed I do. I do it for free since I feel like people don't have the money to pay me and I don't want money. I make music for fun. All right, very cool. Well, join the Discord. Join the Discord and I'll, uh, I'll know who to ask if I need that. Do you have to be 18 plus? You do not. Can I DM an Instagram? Oh yeah, you can DM, DM an Instagram. Yeah, go for that. Okay, heck yeah, Fantastic Spider. I'm glad you're in there. Yeah, I uh, certainly think sourcing from the community is going to be helpful for me as I try to make bigger and better games. Okay, so now we get to the meat of this. This is basically what we're trying to do. And this will take a little bit, but we're just going to do simple stuff, so it shouldn't be too bad. Because they literally ask for, you need a logo, you need an icon, you need a landscape, you need a square, you need a portrait, you need a mini landscape, you need hero cover, you need five screenshots, and you could do a cube map, and you can have a video. I'll probably do a video. Um, I'll probably do a video, but it's a lot of stuff you need to make. You can do billboard arts, okay? If I need a logo, I do not currently need a logo, I should be good on that. So let's see here. Okay, so 512 by 512, we already made this one. 
So if we go into our Unity projects, this is what the folder of a game developer looks like. And Silkworm, game art, Oculus submission icon, this one. Basically, I just I just make like the simplest. I just try to get through it because I'm trying to make this game in a month. So I just make the simplest things I can. So I just basically made an S with a box around it and then just attached little webs to it. Um, so that's cool. Logo transparent. So now this one is 9,000 by 1440, which is what we have here. But it needed to be transparent. You never... And this should be... Hey, you hit 10 likes. 10 likes for the video? Heck yeah. I got an A&R, one person please like. He already has a logo, 15 likes. All right, heck yeah. When do you think AV Order will be public? Um, you can check the Discord for that, but should, I mean, you can play it now. You can currently play it. All right, let me see if I can export this as a PNG. And we'll want to go into Unity Projects. Again, we just need to go to the I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oculus submission. And what was this one called? Logo? Logo.png. Alright, let's check that out. Let's see if that actually not awesome AV orb. Uh. Ten likes, ten it depends on Oculus. Thank you for answering that, Carjacker. So, Game Arts, Oculus Submission, Logo. Yeah, it's kind of what I figured. I wasn't going to be transparent. Let me see here. I'm not the world's greatest Photoshopper, so... It should have transparency. I suppose I must have not. What I need is to grab all of this, grab all that, that, oh, that, 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 that. This is called the wand tool. It allows you to make selections. And I think it's control shift I to invert it, but let me just. Yeah, control shift I, so it's good to learn the shortcuts. So then I do that and I should be able to take the eraser here. And I think that should be erasing it. It's just making it black, but I believe it should be erasing it. I don't know, I don't know enough about Photoshop. Let's see, we'll export it again. You okay, it's just black again. Hmm. You deserve so much better than me. Let's make that a little bigger. Let's switch it. Let's make it like a gray. You don't normally want to go full black. Let's do control shift I and let's see if we can erase it. I'm trying to figure out Photoshop here. This might take a little bit cause I'm Okay, add a Rickroll photo. No, you should add a hidden pick of MJ as an Easter egg. No, I can't do anything that's fully Spider Man, unfortunately. Maybe I need to unlock this.
select oh expand it by one pixel oh never mind eraser the reason I did that was there was still some black I'm actually not sure this is gonna help it though that's fine let's export this now Do they say what background it's going to be on? The logo will allow your audience to quickly recognize your experience. This is your brand. It is most often used in headset on the store. And you're... I know my other game had a black one. What's crazy is... So the problem with the submission process... Okay, so that did work. I think. All right, sorry guys. Let me figure this out here. And hey to everybody who joined. Sorry, I can't. Um, I, I I no longer can have individual conversations with all of you, but I'm glad that you joined. We are currently making this. We are currently making the logo for Silkworm. All right, let me take a look at this here. Let me invert it. Then let me do select. I'm just trying to get rid of those black edges that we had. Expand and let's expand it by two, I suppose. And let's invert it. No, wait, that's gonna make it worse, right? Yeah. Don't know what that was. You'll see that I'm not quite as good at Photoshop as I am at game development. But it'll only take me a second here. I'm trying to figure out the right pathway to do this. That should be good enough. Well, actually, let me, let me just do one more and maybe that will get us there. Ooh. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can see like a slight shadow, but whatever. And we're just erasing the background. When in doubt, Google it out. Yeah, I try not to just sit and Google in front of you guys. I try to have a grasp on what it is that I need to do, but yeah. We ever make a game with hand tracking? I'm sure I will make a game with hand tracking. Yeah, I'm sure I will at some point. Okay, very cool. Anyway, so let's now export this. Yeah, so the problem, the problem with the Oculus submission is it takes six weeks, so if I get this wrong, they'll reject me for it. Um, and then basically, I won't be able to... Let me just do what I... Let me see if they actually have any sort of keeping your experience zero as this motion so trans back when it does not. Yeah, it doesn't really say if it needs to be black or white. So we'll just stick with the white on this one. Let's go ahead and export it and move on to the next one. All right, whatever. So let's grab that. Open it up. Okay, very cool. So you can't see it because it's white. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so now we need, which one is gonna be easiest to start with? We'll start with the biggest one. 
Okay, this one, aspect ratio 2560 by 1440. What is it supposed to be throughout your entire store? Let me go ahead and open up my other one for reference because I'm sure that my awesome AP orb submission followed all the guidelines. You see, I just made this really simple as well. No need to go so crazy on your games, you know? Okay, so I'm basically just gonna take the logo and I'm gonna put it on a picture. I'm gonna put it on a picture somewhere. I believe that I have a picture. Let me think real quick. I believe I have a picture somewhere already. Let me see if I can find this thing. All right, see you, Chicky13. Okay, I thought maybe it was in there. I'm pretty sure somewhere in here would be my stuff. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and download. Let's go ahead and download this big one. Called Silkworm Banner. Okay, cool. And then let's go ahead and open that up in here. Downloads. Silkworm Banner. So it's gonna be pretty small. That's fine. Okay, and then we need to, now that we have those, we can get rid of that. And we basically need it to be 2560 by 14 to 40. So let's go into image, canvas size, pixels, 2560 by 1440 should be good. Some clipping will occur, that's fine. Let's take this, let's put it behind the logo. Okay, and then Let's grab the logo and let's actually shrink this bad boy. Oh, I see. I accidentally put it under it. There we go. Let's close it and let's put it below it. Okay, cool. And let's actually hide the logo for a second here. That banner is sick. Yeah, it's pretty good actually, right? It's kind of cool. It, it took me so long to do because I was like so serious about getting as much detail as possible. Like you, the making a game in a month now is so different than my process before. I was planning on putting like two or three years into this game. So I was literally like, I'm in here in Photoshop, literally like every three pixels, just kind of uh, silhouetting it, which was totally unnecessary. Like, look at the, look at the detail on this one. So ridiculous. But yeah, it ended up looking really cool, didn't it? Okay, we can probably just go ahead and rasterize this, especially since we can always grab the different one. To rasterize it means to put it into pixels. And then we can go ahead and grab this. Go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and uh, grab the teardrop thing. Grab that color. Get a brush. Paint it across that. Get rid of that. Because now we're going to take this new logo and we're going to put that bad boy in there instead so that we can stay consistent across our projects. Okay, I don't know what I just did there, but it is not what I wanted to do. Hey, what the heck? Oh no, I thought they were together. Okay, let me make this one. Oh. Sorry guys. All right. I'm like, 
Totally not proficient with Photoshop. Okay. Grab this, move it over. Okay, how we ended up with two of them, I'm not quite sure. All right, now we're rolling. Oh, hard work pays off, so well done. Thank you. It's a shame Oculus don't really promote app lab games. It's more reliant on word of mouth, people messing around with it. Yeah, that's what, yeah, exactly. That is what you guys are for. No, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously, obviously TikTok is going, obviously TikTok is going further well, so I'm not too worried about it. The only thing I'm worried about right now is figuring out how to make, it's figuring out how to make. I can't get through the sentence. Uh, figuring out how to make Photoshop work. And so I'm trying to flip this right now. I'm thinking if I can, where is the flip? I know it's in here somewhere. It's like, um, okay. It's not quite right. So that's the right size at least. I'm just messing around with some ideas right now. Because it needs to, unfortunately, it needs to be centered. Like you can't be anywhere up here and you can't be over here with the title. So I need to figure out how to basically make it look good while also keeping everything centered. It's not terrible. Let's see, that's not terrible. I do think that truly, uh, I do think a good logo always pretty much has it before is the problem. But for some reason this just looks so weird to me. I guess we can try, let me copy this, let me get rid of those. Let me write that again. Oh, okay. No worries on that one, Photoshop. The cell farm, awesome. Okay, we could just make this, you know, honestly, I guess we don't even need this. It's kind of ruining everything. Okay, I don't know why this thing, 
Okay, it's because you need to press enter afterwards. I wonder if I can fit it all on this side. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe it could just be this part of it. Let's think. I think the logo S throws a spanner in the works. Can you put it in the skyscraper? That's a good idea. No, I don't think in the skyscraper. Oh, you know what? Maybe. <laughs> like it's like like he's a superhero and he has a building. <laughs> nah, it's a little ridiculous. Interesting idea though. I want to find to make it just the building. I think it would probably. Probably be something like that. There we go. That's good. Okay, now we don't have that problem anymore. Make this the size that it should be. Okay. Probably something like that. Okay, the sizing is correct. Man, I still feel like it kind of ruins it a little bit for some reason. That's okay, we'll do it again. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just not big enough when it's that small. Okay, we tried. I think on this one, let's get rid of that. Let's take this, let's make it bigger. Very cool. Oh my goodness. This, this Photoshop is really drilling me today. Okay, that's cool. What did the banner, what colors were they? Okay, it was like a white and then the color of the building. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Man, old Dom was pretty smart. All right, cool. Let's take this. Um, let's take this and let's, I think maybe I can change the color of just a little bit of it. Okay. The silkworm. 
Perfect. I can never get into jobs, Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah, Tokyo Ghoul is amazing. That's for sure. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. Now we'll export this. Export as. You know what, honestly, let's just do a quick export as in PNG. Okay, cool. Then we come out, then we make a new folder, and what was it called? The landscape. Landscape, open that up. And we will call it landscape, which makes sense. Okay, very cool, then let's come over here, choose file, landscape, silkworm, open that up. Tachi Minotaur and Shisui are my favorite characters. I didn't see enough of Shisui to, um, for him to be one of my favorites. He does seem cool though, if Itachi liked him, I like him. Okay, so then square 1440 by 1440. Okay, it was just a smaller version of it. Image, canvas size, pixels, this now needs to be 1440. Proceed. Okay, take this, move it over a little bit. Take the text, make it way smaller. Oh, make it way smaller, press enter. Put it over, it's still not quite small enough. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and let's move it over and down a little bit. Silkworm, very cool. Yeah, so if you stay kind of simple with the logos, it really doesn't take all that long. That first one took me a little bit, but these next ones should blow by fairly quickly. You like One Piece. I don't know if you're talking to me, but I love One Piece. I've seen every episode, it's so good. Luffy's the best. Square. I'm not a huge anime guy, but I'm big enough to watch the all the big ones. Like I've pretty much seen all the good ones, let's say. Or all the like widely accepted as good. Okay, you know what? I actually really like these logos. I think these are really good. Um I, it's funny what you can make in a month. So funny. Seen JoJo. Uh, yeah, it can, one piece can be kind of slow. Okay. So then what did I do for this portrait? Okay, again, it's just smaller. Should I put like be the silk? No. A, B, or be the ball. I'll keep this one a little more serious. And I believe it was 10.08. Image, canvas size, blah, 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 pixels. Portraits achieved. Move this over just slightly. Take this guy. Take this guy, actually, let's leave them. Let's get rid of that, let's take these. Let's grab this one, let's grab that, let's change the color to this, okay. Yep, I get it. Okay, cool. The silk worm. Let's make it smaller. Dang, ah, so good. Okay, take this one, make that smaller. What do you guys think, centered or to the left? Hey, Snap, glad you made it. Someone someone tell me centered or to the left. Alright, Chicky13, to the left, let's do it. 
The only other thing I consider is that maybe I could make it smaller. Yeah. Uh, actually, wait a second. Left, left, left. Okay, so people are pretty, uh, people want the left. All right, file, export, quick export as PNG. I believe this one is called portrait. Open that up, save it as portrait. And this is just for posterity. So that I will always remember what it is. Choose a file, open this up, portrait, silkworm, duh. So these are so good. I love these. This is hilarious. Okay, mini landscape. What did I do for that one? Okay, so just a really long picture. Very cool. It worries me because I made this one black and my other one's white. Uh, whatever. Okay, very cool. Uh, mini landscape is going to be 1080 by 360. Image. Okay, canvas size, not millimeters. I forgot what it was, 360. Okay, very cool. What, what party? You could just re-aspect the first landscape. Yeah, pretty much. It's a little bit longer. Like you'll see it's really long, um, but yeah, I can pretty much just take the first landscape and just, um, It is longer. It is longer, actually. Okay, let's see here. So first of all, I suppose we need to make this way smaller. Make it small, we'll make it long. And then we will come in here turn these off, turn this one back on, take it, put it down here, make it way smaller. Oh, make it way smaller, click enter, drag it over here. This, mm, maybe even we just don't even show that building so much. Maybe it's just like this. Okay, Quest 2 or wait for the Quest Pro? Um, best and cheapest by Quest 2. Hey Dom, how much will the game be? Yeah, so I'm thinking, um, no, I'm kidding. It's, uh, it's gonna be free. It will be totally free. I don't quite know how I'm gonna monetize my whole YouTube addiction yet, but I think I will figure it out. I want the games to be free because I want everybody to be able to play them. I don't really want there to be any paywall that people can't get through. I think that would be really sad. And my interest is mainly in getting as many people to have a fun experience and to play my game more than making money, I suppose. Of course, I need money to survive and to keep doing this. So I'm gonna figure that out, but it will not be through the games. I'll probably do Patreon or something and then like say if you give amount of money, you'll and that should be good. If you give X amount of money, you get access to the code, stuff like that, for the people who are trying to learn to make games. Or, you know what, honestly, because there's only 100 playtesters available, I'll probably make it so that if you support on Patreon, you get to be one of the 100 playtesters. Once we have a lot of people in here. Okay. 
what was it called? Mini landscape. I don't think those were the same. Maybe I was wrong. Whoever said I could just rescale it, I think. Lemonhead Gaming, you're the best and I love Spider-Man and you were, and you just made a dream come true. Yeah, uh, if you get bigger merch, I guess merch would be pretty cool. I've never really considered that as an actual option though. Game add-ons, that could be cool as well, but it requires me to stop making the games that I'm making to go remake this one just so that I can make some money. God, can I put my email in the chat? You can do whatever you'd like with the email. I think that's probably a bad move personally because um, then everyone will have it and will always have it. I would not recommend it. In fact, I'll say just don't do it. Just send it in the um, Instagram. Side quest or itch maybe. Um, if by itch you mean Twitch, then possibly. And thank you for the kind words, by the way, Lemonhead. I appreciate that. And I'll say the only difference, like you guys are here because you're excited about Spider-Man. Obviously, or maybe if you could have made Spider-Man, you would yourself. The only difference between me and you is that I put like a few hours into learning to make games. And then from there, I can just make whatever I want. And that's why I push game development on people so hard. It allows you to make anything that you can imagine. Like it's not like a movie where you're constrained by like how many film people you can hire and how in the location and like what's reality. Um, and it's not a painting in that it's static. It's like a very interactive world that you can make literally whatever you want. So when I wanted to be the silkworm, I just made it. And so hopefully I can teach you guys how to do that as well. Sorry, no need for me to tweak this really. I guess I just want to. Sorry, some, sometimes my old self that took, takes two years to even make the simplest thing um, comes in and I, like, I'll literally sit here for hours and be like, no, 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 so let's see here, go back to mini landscape, oh, I guess I already said it. Unsupported image dimensions. Did I change something? Sorry guys, let me check this out real quick. Should be the same. 1008 by 360. Oh, 1080 by 360. Wow, they got me there. They fooled me by making it similar to the other one. Oh, and now everything's ruined and we gotta redo it. No, not really. It's pretty much the same. We'll just make this a tad bigger. Click enter, go down. And that should be good. <sighs> Uh, la la la, if you want to play test, are you bringing the game out now? Um, the game, yeah, so the game will be done in like a second here, uh, but it's going to take a few weeks for, uh, Oculus review, when it hits 100 play tester, the Patreon and play tester, would he remove a non-patron? Side quest makes porting to the quest a lot easier, and it's the same, I assume he means for the future games play testing, well, he's good. You must still be free on Oculus, is going to App Lab, so we'll be right there on Oculus, it will be in App Lab, what is App Lab? Okay, if someone could explain what App Lab is to DJ there. Um, but, okay, let's see. Ex oh, I don't know why I did export as. Quick export as PNG. Mini landscape. Overwrite that one. Come over here. Click this. Mini landscape. Open. Yeah, good enough. Okay, I'm actually curious, the ratio there, 1080 by 360 is three. Is that the same ratio for the landscape? I do not believe so. 
Yeah, it's not. It's way longer. Which I guess is obvious to the eye now that I'm looking at it, but you know, whatever. Okay, cool. Okay, very cool. PDP art hero cover. Let's check it out. So I guess the hero image is just like a huge version of the mini landscape essentially. So that's good. Let's do that. Canvas size, come back here. 3000 by 900, 10 by three. And if you don't have access to Photoshop for making these sort of things, I recommend GIMP. It's a, uh, it is basically Photoshop, but open source. It's not quite as good, but Photoshop's not really that good either. So you're not missing out on a ton. My headphones won't work. Uh, wire discord ranks because I'm number two. Oh, Lucas, are you feasible? When you become a tester, you will receive an invitation to be a tester of like all his games. Oh, I gotcha. I'm the idiot alone. Yeah, that's a dumb question. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know, Chicky. I'd have to decide on that one. But that's just an idea I'm throwing up anyway. So we'll see if any, if that even comes to fruition. Okay. Yeah, no problem, Snap. Okay, let's take this. Let's make it way bigger again. All right, this could be a problem. Think, you guys think I could get away with something like that? I bet you I could get away with at least that. Um, each game will have to DM. No, so I'm maintaining a list of Discord people to their um, to their emails, to their Oculus emails, and then I'm going to basically, when there's a new game, to say like, hey, who wants to play test it? And everybody who, I'll basically say, if you haven't sent me your email, do it. If you have sent me your email before, then just tell me, and then I'll add them that way. Okay, so this one's kind of a problem child. I need more space here. Like it needs to be more centered. Ah, you know what, that actually looks good. Something like that. Let me see something here. And I wish I was a better. Are people being able to game the play the game today? No, I don't think so. No, because if you were here earlier, I basically said that there's actually a couple more things that I need to do. Okay, let me make this smaller. We have extra time here, so I'm just kind of testing something out.
Okay, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this. Okay, pretty much nowhere. I was I was just thinking if I could get like a wisp. And then like a little guy who is like Yay. That it could be kind of cool. This wisp I think looks good already. Little recap for you, Lennon. He has sorted out rare gold hands for just RNG. Let me think here. This is so dumb. I don't even know why I'm like moseying around with this idea as if I'm going to draw a stick man and be like, that stick man is perfect. Ship with it. Wait, or maybe it will happen. Nah, alright, alright. Enough of that, enough messing around. Very cool. App lab application stuff. Hey, Star Kid. Haven't seen you in here before. Glad to see you here. Ooh, when your broken spine hurts. All right, cool. So let's see here. Should we do lower that a little bit? Click out of it. Mm, still too high. Lower it a little bit. Click out of it. Maybe move it a little bit this way, a little bit up. Cool. Hero art. Open that up, name it hero art as we've been doing before. Hero art. Okay, very cool. Then come over here, take this, do the hero art, click it, open it. Very cool. Okay, and that's pretty much it except the screenshot. So let's take a look at what we got. We got this icon with the S. We got this logo that you can't see because it's transparent. And that honestly, maybe I should make black. All right, let's make that black because I think I might get rejected from it actually. Welcome to the club, something like that. Lemon, you would do it through the Discord. So if you're not in the Discord, link to that is in the description and you can talk to people in there about it and they'll let you know. Okay, very cool. Uh, la la la. So let's go ahead and redo that logo real quick, which I believe... What was the size of it? Was it really 9,000 by 1440? Jeez. 
Ah, it's terrible. Jeez. Look at that thing. What the heck happened there? Okay, let me... Let me do this a different way. Let me do file open. Unity projects, Silkworm, game art, Oculus submission, uh, logo, I believe it was called, open it up. It's gonna be this white, let's see if we can, ooh, okay, that's gonna be tough to hit. Let me see if instead, if I can make a new layer, put it under that layer, take a brush, get rid of that selection, make this bigger, and make the background black for a second. Very cool. And then we'll take this layer, We'll move it down to center it again. Okay, cool. And then let's grab all this. Okay, cool, and then we will get rid of that layer. Man, it really has a hard time with that. Select, modify, expand, let's expand it by four. Okay, cool. Now let's paint it. Okay, cool. And that should look better. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's weird that it was having problems with those threads. Okay, cool. And this is just in an effort to not get rejected. Quick export as PNG, export it over the logo. That should be fine. Lemon, why are you saying no testing for you? Lemon, are you not able to join the Discord? Lemon, just get Discord, dude. It's a free app. You crazy man. Okay, cool. So that should keep us from getting banned. Okay, hear me out. I'm going to change that to the gray that we've been using. I know that that's gonna take a second and you guys don't wanna see it, but it's gonna kill me that everything is this color brand and this is not. So I'm gonna change it real quick. And we're gonna do that the same way. We're basically just gonna um, do file, open. Here, we'll do it in under a minute, let's see. Someone count me down. Logo, open that up, click this. Click the background, this background, this one, 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 this one. Cool, then we'll take the brush and we will paint that whole thing, get rid of it. At the same time, we will take this and we will move it up so that it's actually centered. We'll get the brush again, we'll make it small. We'll do that. Okay, there we go, and then we'll export it. As the icon. Oh, was that under a minute? I think it probably was. Oh no! Okay, very cool. Um, and now we have a bunch of really beautiful logos and stuff for Silkworm. So it didn't take too long as you guys saw. The only thing we didn't do on stream was this building thing and that really only took like an hour maybe. You just find a nice landscape image and then you just, I think I just said like, landscape, New York, city. And it was just one of these somewhere in here. And then I basically just used Photoshop to make that silhouette. So not too hard. Okay, oh, actually, you know what? We need to get the screenshots real quick. 
2560 by 1440. Okay, very cool. Um, <clears throat> and that will actually take another second. It's fine, it was fast enough. I didn't mean that. Count him down, he said, lol. Okay, very cool. So let's get those screenshots. And I suppose the way we'll do that is basically just by maximizing on play, turning debugging off, and then let me think about this one because we need to, one way would be to just record a play session, but I can't record, I can't record while Yeah, but I can't I can't record while I'm streaming, so I think I'll just have to go through and take little snippets. So let's see what we can get here. Or you know what we could do, honestly? We could probably just I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Okay, let's see here. And for those of you who haven't seen the updates that I've made to the game, they're pretty freaking epic, so I'll show you guys real quick. Oh, we didn't get we didn't get gold hands. Okay, so first of all, let's just get No, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna want some action shots. So I don't know that I can get these screenshots on stream. I think I'm gonna have to get them after. So you can slide along the silk now, and when you get to the end, you can transfer, so <laughs> that's fun. And then you can also like build it out as, oh man, what the heck just happened? So there must be some bug there, because that wasn't happening before. I'll have to figure that out. Let me see if I can figure out what's, what's happening so that I can reproduce it. Okay, so shoot. It looks like while I'm... Up we go. And this is why it's so cool, dude. I don't know. It looks like for some reason while swinging, it's not doing it now. It was doing it. Maybe I just still had some momentum. Oh, I think it's if you press the analog stick while the other hand is... That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, so the analog stick will slide you along. The analog stick will slide you along. I think you're good. No, no, it, I wasn't pressing the analog stick. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. For some reason it moves you off the web and then you fall off. Um, look at this, so ridiculous. Yeah, one of my favorite things now is to make an elevator. So I'm not really sure what I'm going for here, guys. Let me, uh... Sorry, my, my uh, stream was messed up for some reason. Oh, uh, dang it, and now I'm not even... My bad, give me one second, guys. Okay. Cool. Uh, hey, la, la, hey. You do not need a computer to play, no. I'm just using that as I'm developing. Oh, didn't mean to click play here. I realized that it was too hard to pull, to silk pull, so let me turn that value down a little bit. I turned it up because while you were building webs, you had a propensity to sort of pull, do a silk pull by accident. So, let's see here. Let's make this like one point five let's make it like 1.6 that should be good yeah cars mod now jake sorry about it uh yeah so i'll get those screenshots after i won't look into that bug right now but let me write it down um when And grabbing silk and shooting another silk, you slide off the grab. Cool. Are you guys getting, is this stream like lagging for you guys? For some reason mine is. Okay, cool. So let's see, make the video, get some video. I can't make the video either because I can't record. Uh, Corns that increase your abilities. Okay, I'm not gonna do any of that right now. Let me, let me check the game and make sure that I didn't forget anything with it. I got the Rift Fs. I think it's discontinued sooner. Yeah, they discontinued it. Yeah, Jake, the ziplining, the ziplining built with the web building, the fact that like silk can interact with other silk, um, I think made a huge difference to the game. And I wish I was a better man. Um, let me make sure I didn't forget anything here. Actually, let me restart here for a second. Yeah, having a PC is pretty sweet. It's like getting, if you're a computer person and you get a PC, it's basically like getting a Porsche. So, and they're just, so they're just way less expensive Porsches and you get them at like the young age of 15. Recent review for best experience. There's all the, yeah, all right, seems good. Then, um, I wanted to test the game, 45 seconds, let's see. I basically, I guess I need to test. What's so funny is you guys, you guys are watching me swing and I'm sure I make it look fairly easy. You, like, 
when you start playing this game, you're basically useless. Okay. And it's just so cool in that way where I've been playing for so long. Oh no, I'm gonna lose. No, wait, I'm good. Like I'm just better, I'm better every day at the game, which I think is a really cool feeling. And I don't think anybody has really captured that in VR, except Beat Saber actually. I think it's up, right? Oh no. No, I missed it! Dang it. Okay, cool. And then you can start a new one. Okay, very cool. So that all works. So that's good. I don't know, man. I'm grounded. Bought a. My granddad bought a portion and he <laughs> seems pretty happy. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying uh, they're like Porsches. Porsches make you happy as well. I like the clouds, VR. I don't know, my granddad. Fish the ground at the checkpoints, or can you just swing over them? You could just swing over them. You you can't swing like way over them, but you 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 know what? Honest? No, no. I want you to have to touch it. Free play. Uh, it's just free play game or is there no not really it's mostly just free play lemon um, there's the little game that you get to play and again for some reason my stream is not live okay cool uh, let's see so I guess then we can just do the things that I was gonna do when I got off stream which was basically all of that is good. An entitlement check doesn't work yet, but hopefully it will. Entitlement check is something required by Oculus. So I need to figure that out. Exit app on failure. Let me do something here. Start. If testing dot debugging. So that's that value here. If testing dot debugging exit app on failure equals false because I don't want to have to deal with that otherwise it equals true cool okay cool uh, dream come true is it it is avocado it is Yeah, I basically, I mean, I'm kind of like you guys. It was pretty much my dream as well. So hopefully I've envisioned it correctly and you guys can have fun playing it. I'm really excited to show you guys in a few days here. Hopefully it works. It isn't just like a terrible game. Let's see. Okay, so that no longer matters, really. And then all this is good. Okay, let's grab main testing. <sighs> I 
I'm just thinking real quick. Okay, let's grab main testing. Let's open it. Let's go over here. So you have this directional light, input handler, audio effects, water, city, water. Oh, that's another thing I need to do. Mm. Did I call this anywhere in the code? Okay, so this is bad. I need to not do this. And I'm just gonna write down some of my thoughts real quick so I don't forget them. Pre-release, plug, then load change the scene make the video plug the load change the scene make the video at beginning um switch the scene to um final main switch the scene to final main mm add the floor across city which actually is not no it's okay add the floor across the city i don't know if there's anything else okay cool so let's make this final main so we'll take main we'll duplicate it and we'll call it main final the reason i'm doing this is because i think i'm going to delete some of the city you'll see it's like a really a lot Okay, so that's the, that's the whole city. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so real quick, let's go into rock wall. Okay, let's go into this and let's take this just so that we can see the whole thing. We'll save it and we'll take floor and we'll do the same thing just so that we can see it. We we'll go back to the city. We have the directional light, input handler, audio effects, XR rig. Let's get rid of those things and let's go back into main testing and let's basically grab all of that, everything that we need. copy it, save, go back into main final. You see even just loading the scene takes a long time. Paste it all. And I'm just writing another reminder. Game dev stuff. Okay, cool. Gorilla Tag, AOT, Beat Saber, and Pavlov Beat Saber. What do you guys like to play in VR? I gotta try this Gorilla Tag. Everybody's saying it's amazing. Okay, so here's the whole city. So you can see it is expansive. It's a big, big, big city. And basically I'm just thinking, I don't know that I need most of it. Like it's the idea of having the whole city is fun, but at the same time, I just don't know what you would ever want to go to this area for. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about the whole city? The problem is, okay, keep in mind before you answer, your field of view is basically 100 meters. The reason I have to do this is because the mobile headset itself is very weak and it cannot render this entire city at the same time. Like it would never be able to render this like a PC could. That's why I, um, that's why I make it smaller. I think I can simulate it here. Yeah, so I have that at 30,000. It's about this. It's about this. 
So very quickly, if you're in these areas, no, you know what it is? It's 250. So very quickly, if you're in these areas, you're going to be lost. You're not going to know how to get back to the places that are actually fun. And you'll probably just end up restarting the game. And you'll probably just end up restarting the whole game instead of trying to find it. And so I'm just thinking... Like, it would be one thing... It would be one thing if you were over here and all you had to do was climb up on this little building here and look over and say like, oh, that's where the city is. Let me go that way. Uh, but that's not really the case, unfortunately. <laughs> if you restart the game. And I'm just thinking like, I think when I play test, I have like this. I'm thinking if I do this this and all of this that that will be pretty good and this I really am only thinking I'll get rid of this definitely this island over here let me make this way faster definitely this island over here because you're not going to be able to find the places you want anyway unfortunately there's like a cool stadium so that would be fun to go explore but And then like this area over here, I just don't know why you'd want to do it. Well, you had textures and lighting. There are textures and lighting actually. So you have that, and then you basically have this like giant light in the sky. Um, but no, nothing, no crazy, nothing crazy artistic. But I think that I'll probably just go ahead and for now get rid of those things that I was saying. For now, let's turn that off. And I wish I was a better man. Get rid of that, get rid of these. And honestly, this will increase the load times anyway. And I can always put it back in if people really think they'd want it. I assume the more complicated the textures means the city would have to be smaller, right? That is along the right path, but it's not exactly correct. The reason that I can't... So, <laughs> back to the... Uh attempt at back to the attempt at Photoshop here basically when you have a square in a game it's made up of these triangles so a square would be made up of two triangles and they have these vertices on the ends here right so that resides in system memory if you know a computer has a CPU a GPU RAM storage and those are pretty much the big parts Storage is like really slow memory. You don't really work with that. When I load in a game, it loads in that whole game to RAM. So now everything is in RAM. All the, This whole city is in RAM, right? Um, basically, if I want to render a part of the city, I take it from RAM, I send it over to the GPU, and then two stages happen. Basically, I say, hey, here's the, here's the cube, here's its vertices and its edges. And it says, okay, cool. First, let me do some math. Math. First, let me do some math that is basically going to transform that cube into where it would be on your screen. So if this is your screen, yeah, let's say that it, like, it sits like this. And so now you have this cube in here that's been transformed to like what pixel it's on. From there, it goes to what's called the fragment shader, where basically for every pixel, so now you have the same image, but, and we can just draw it again real quick, I guess. So now you have this same image but this time, for every pixel, it's going to do some math to figure out the lighting. And so basically, and that's called the fragment shader. 
So on a mobile headset like Quest and Quest 2, the fragment shader can really only support like 200 operations or something like that, like multiplication, division, things like that. So you can't have too many lights because the more lights you have, the more calculations you need to do. And you can't use too many textures because the more textures you have, the more like texture operations you need to do. So basically, yeah, you just have this budget where for per fragment, I need it to be simple enough that the mobile headset can actually do it. So there's a few bottlenecks that you can run into in games. One can be A, too much of this, too much geometry. That's hard to run into nowadays, but it is possible. And two, too complicated of pixels. And so that's what I was running into with the textures. So I kind of just, eh, I'm making it in a month, get rid of it, just do one texture. And um, that's how I ended up here. And that's also why I'm using one light. And basically the simpler you make it, the more likely it is to run on a mobile headset. People probably will not appreciate the fact that this game runs on a mobile headset, but um, it's, not, it's not like a given that things will run on a mobile device. It's a lot of, I mean, it wasn't really a lot of work here because I, from the get-go, made sure that it would run on it, but it can be a lot of work. For instance, with Grove, the other app I was making, it took me like six months to make it run on a mobile headset. It was terrible. It was a horrible experience. And that's why I don't even mess around with making things crazy anymore, um, just because I'm not trying to sit here and optimize this game for six months. I'd rather just put it out and let you guys play it. Because what I realized in the end is that graphics sell games, but they don't make games. Like, people don't... People, I guarantee, I will 100% guarantee you people will not care, literally at all, that this game only has a simple texture once they get in there and start playing it. The only problem is that it's harder to get people in there playing it if it doesn't have nice graphics. Okay, let's see here. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of that guy. I guess we can have one boring island. We'll let you cross the bridge if you want. Okay, to me that feels better, personally. I don't think you could really get lost over here. You'd come over, you'll look around, you realize you're bored, you'll look for the bridge, and that will help you get back. Once you're in here, pretty much all tallish buildings. These areas are not as great. And then you have the actual area that you would care about. Um... A lot of games look not the best and are super popular lately. Gameplay over graphics for sure. Yeah, I think especially with the internet. I mean, because like <clears throat> pre-TikTok, pre-YouTube, trying to get people to play this game. Like if I was like, hey guys, if I just came up to you and was like, hey guys, I made a game. Uh, here's a picture of it. You'd be like, get that game away from me. I'm not playing it. I don't want to play your stupid one texture game. Um, but when you can actually like show gameplay and stuff on TikTok, people are like, oh, I'm in it. Uh, all right, I'll see you, Lemonhead. But Monkey Tag actually has some pretty good graphics. I mean, it's like blocky looking, but... Okay, that's probably good. Let's roll with that for now. Still, I mean, still really, I kind of wish there was a way to connect these guys to this one and then maybe just get rid of that middle area because I don't know how you're going to traverse this middle area like honestly what is that oh it's a bridge and this is a pretty cool area I'd like you to be able to swing in it yeah but it's not like 4k and there's only one light yeah no it's simple for sure Okay, well, I guess this is what you have playtesters for. You guys will have to let me know if you get, like, excessively lost and bored. Okay, cool. So we have all that. So 
So now we need to put down the flooring. Who made who made Gorilla Tag? Actually, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to keep him in mind because at some point I want to team up with some other YouTubers to make better games. Okay, cool. And I wish I was a better man. It's a hundred miles to Michigan. Okay, we'll turn this huge tile back on. And then we'll basically make it way smaller. We're going to form fit this city so that you can only. Okay, this is kind of a problem. The city has different. different heights to it. All right, let's just do it like this. Yeah, like how much of this part is under? Oh, none of it. It's all over. Alright, well that will be the floating city. The floating city section. Let me take a look at it over here. And then is some of this stuff under it? it does not appear. I'm just trying to think if there's like a uniform grading. And then if I could... Because I can't really... Because I can't really just, I can't like make multiple and make them different heights because you won't be able to, like you'll, you'll hit the edge of the, like if I were to make two of these and put them next to each other and make this one slightly higher while you were walking through the city, you would see suddenly that the ground was way higher and you would have to jump up there, which maybe is better than not, but I don't think so. Okay, huge tile, huge tile two. That is my friend's dog trying to get in here. Okay, cool. And I think maybe I'll actually make this smaller. This is nothing crazy, I'm just trying to fit all these things together. I basically just don't want too much extra space on the edges because I don't want you to like run off towards nothingness. It'll just be barren. So preferably right as you hit the edge of the city it would it would uh break. And I wish I was a better man. It's a hundred pounds to machine. Over the years, this dog has totally lost its mind. Sad, really. In fact, you know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna make you, this seems kind of fun. I'm not even gonna give you a floor to cross this bridge with. I'm gonna make you like swing across it or you die.
Okay, that's probably good enough on that one. Don't need to be too perfect with it. And then let's get these last parts. <laughs> oh my god, this dog is insane. Let's see. Okay, this next part here. Oh wait, actually, I can't use that one. We have to use these ones because these are the same height. Okay, and then we'll just make this one thick. Shorter. Rotate it. Move it over. Yeah, it basically is a baby. You could definitely say that. Even if I let her in here, she will not, she won't stop, unfortunately. All right, let's do something. Okay, I think I have an idea later for how to kind of fix this stuff. Oh, that actually fit surprisingly well. Okay. Okay. One, one more. Yeah. yeah, sorry guys. Let's see. Okay, cool. I think that's probably pretty good. So now we have floors for everything in the city. It should be nice and there's not too much runway in case you find yourself lost. You pretty much always be in the city if there's a floor under you. Under you. So that's good. No monkey tags free, but the creator add hats that you can buy. You should add something like that. Let me try real quick. Gotta bounce later, dude. All right, see you later, carjacker. Outfits, so never mind. You can hold on to the grip. Okay, cool. So that should be good. Now we need to close that up and let's go ahead and actually let's rename that ground. Okay, and let's close it, then let's turn it off. Then let's run this function called city gen split city that's going to take a second because it's going to run through and split all these meshes up okay it's not done with that so then i will basically go through here and get rid of all the mesh colliders Get rid of all the mesh renderers. Get rid of all of those. Then I'm thinking I can How well can I grab this area here? Let me think for a second here. I'm basically thinking I can make that part of the city taller, actually. But I need to... Hey, Dom, you should add outfits. And hey, what if you implement a multiplayer function in the game? So the reason I'm not doing multiplayer Fantastic Spider, though I would love to, of course, it would be amazing to swing around with your friends in here, um, is that it would probably take me another two months. I'm not currently equipped to do multiplayer. 
and when you add multiplayer to a game, it's kind of a whole hoopla. So I think I would have to wait till I have another person on my team before I started doing multiplayer. But yeah, it's certainly something I'd like to do. You do not have to buy servers, actually. So there's different topologies, is what it's called. In so here's all your favorite. Here's how all your favorite networking games work. There's different topologies for networking. What that means is different. Like if you're a node and your connection with someone is an edge. So here's you, and here's your friend. You and friend too. And then, you know, if you have 100 people, it's just a bunch of nodes connected to each other, essentially. Basically, you can have peer-to-peer -peer is what the simplest form of networking is called. And what that is basically going to do is if, and this is what Gorilla Tag probably does, if I have four friends playing a game, we're basically all connected to each other. And we're all sending information back and forth to each other. You don't actually need a server for that. What you normally do is you just say like, hey, this guy here, he's the host. Everybody send your info to him about what you're doing. He'll update you and, and you know, he'll update the whole game and it'll be good to go. What games like Call of Duty do, the ones that have to buy servers, uh, the ones that have to buy servers, you basically have a bunch of people. They're all sitting at home playing. And then there's a server and that server is connected to everybody, but they're not actually connected to each other, they're only connected to the server. And so you send an update, you basically say like, hey, here's what I clicked, here's what I did, this says, okay, cool, let me update the game simulation with what just happened, and then it distributes that out to everybody else. In this way, you can connect a lot more people, because you're only, because you're, let me let this dog in. Seems fair, it would be really fun. Uh... All right, guys, here you, you're in. All right, no need to attack me. No need to attack me, dog. No need to attack me. Ah, no! I'm being attacked. <laughs> so, let me close this now. All right, all right, enough. Stop. Okay. And so... If we imagine the computation here necessary, like how big the CPU needs to be, how big the GPU needs to be, on this one, if I have four players, I need four connections. Well, sorry, I need three connections, one to each player. If I have 100 players, I need 100 connections. If we're doing a server and I have four people, it's one connection, me to the server. If I have 100 people, it's one connection, me to the server. The only, the only person that actually cares about how many people are connected is the server itself. So if I have a really nice server, I can have 100 people. If I have a bad server, I can have 20 people, something like that. So that's kind of how games work. It used to be a lot of this, and I could do this, and this would be free because I'm not using a server. Or I could be like a big game developer and do this, but that would cost me money. So let's see. Wall climbing. Okay, so I'd like to make this middle part that kind of sucks, I'd like to make it bigger. And I suppose to do that, I need to first, I think what would first be good is if I took all of it and moved it. This is gonna be rough, but let's do it. Take all of it, it's going to select all of these. It's going to take a minute. Dog, dog, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's going to take all those. And then I'm going to move them all out to here. And I don't think that will break anything. Yes, dog. But it is going to take a second. So hopefully this isn't lagging the stream or anything because I'm doing a lot of competition here. Yes, dog. Yes, yes, yes. Stop screaming at me, please. You're crazy. You're crazy. Oh, and now she wants to climb on my lap. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I might have just crashed Unity, actually. Oh, he sneezed on me. 
All right, seems fair. It would. Sorry, guys. I don't know why my stream is getting behind. Okay, I might have just crashed Unity, so we have to. I have to fix this anyway, but. I think I tried to move too many objects at the same time. <laughs> yeah, if the F means fail, I think you were correct. Well, let's just wait a minute before I quit out of it. Because I do want to do this, I don't think it's necessary to have them childed under all these building objects, these sub-meshes that you can see here. I don't think it's necessary to have them childed, but I... What was I going to say? And plus... I guess I could just do it with a smaller subset of them. We'll give it another minute. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm I think I'm literally moving like well here it goes. Okay, cool. So now I'll click out of that. And I should just be able to get rid of all these objects here. Okay, let me create another object. We'll call it city, um, city, I guess, like heightened. Put it over here. Okay, and then we'll basically want to, actually, you know what? Let me put it above it. And then now we'll want to grab the ones that we care about. Ones that we're trying to make taller. be all of those ones. Dang it, I missed this. And that should be good. This part can be kind of boring. And then we just need to find one of those. Oh no, it's the first one is so low down. All right, this might be one of those, like, gonna take a minute, but just accept your fate situations. <laughs> oh. oh. All right, guys, we got it. We got at least, we got at least a minute here while I scroll this up. I do not believe there's a better way to do it. Wait. No, I don't think so. Plus, we're already like halfway through, so it doesn't matter anyway. And again, we're doing this to make the city taller. 
because this this part here is boring. So I believe I can make it taller like this. It looks like we probably have another 30 seconds or so of this. Yeah, sometimes it's just how it is in game development. You like, because there very well may have been a better way to do it, but I think figuring that out would have taken longer than just doing this, which is boring, but at least it gets it done and I know that I will get it done. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of funny. All right, and here we are, we're almost done. And I didn't want to have to re-grab all those. Okay, city heightened. Okay, so that'll take a second again. We're not moving the whole city, so it won't take as long. But yeah, this will probably take another 30 seconds or so. I don't remember how long the last one took. But if you guys have any questions, feel free. My man literally raising a city. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Let's see here. I think this will really help the game out though. Cause you basically like, I just don't know why I'd want to swing around anywhere that wasn't, okay, cool. And now for the moment of truth on this, to see if this, to see if this works. Wow, I didn't know New York was so much taller than I thought it was. Okay, cool. So you're swinging through, you're swinging through, you get over here, it's kind of short, you're coming to here, it's tall, it's tall, it's tall. Yay, I'm having fun, it's so tall. Yeah. The only boring part is over here where abruptly the buildings, you know what, and it doesn't even look bad really. Okay. I'm not realizing there are some parts where I got half the building, but I personally don't care too much about that. I think that that'll be fine. I don't think people are going to be pissed about it. It looks so much denser. Okay. So yeah, that should be good. Yeah, I don't know why this this part of the city looks so cool suddenly. This, I mean, like, I want to swing around in here. Okay, very cool. So, and if we just look at it from eye level, it's pretty tall. So that should be good. I might take a second here to fix some of these bigger pieces. Mm, the problem is that they're so... Yeah, let me fix, let me just fix some of these more offensive ones. We have, we have a few minutes here, so. How long have I been making games? Salad asks. Uh, good question, Salad, and welcome to the chat, first of all. I have been making games for maybe five years now, six years or so. I would say I've been, I guess you're pretty much always increasing in skill level. You're pretty much always increasing in skill level. So I guess I've only been this good for about a month now, but you get pretty good pretty quickly. So it doesn't really take that long. It'll probably take like a couple months before you're making something that you think is cool and are like proud to show people. So that's good. 
Okay. This one is pretty offensive, I think. It's hard to tell which way I need to go to fix it. I think down, though. Okay, yeah, it's one of the first ones. And I wish I was a better man. What software, what software did you use to make the games? Very nice, I enjoy making games as well. I can very, I can very entertaining. Uh, yeah, it is Unity. It is Unity, and I would personally recommend Unity. Why does it look like slightly misplaced? That's okay, that's not gonna kill anybody. Yeah, why does it look slightly misplaced? That's weird. Yeah, it should just be... Perhaps the positioning got changed a little bit. Yeah, I would, I would personally highly recommend Unity. It is... Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to fix that. That's fine. Um, it's great for beginners. It doesn't assume you have any game knowledge, so that's really nice. Um, and it's got tons of tutorials and a great community. So it's really the way to go, for sure, if you're going to be making games. At least I think so. No, oh, never mind. Not doing it. Oh, let me put it back. Okay, we'll just leave that one. And these ones are probably fine as well. Okay, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. If you guys come across that and you hate it, let me know, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, cool. So now we have these ones and we'll just put them back into this guy. Okay, and now this is the final city. This should be good. Yeah, and Braith, you're probably in the Discord already, but if you want to learn more about games, that's a great place to do it. The link to that is in the description. Okay, so then we can turn the ground back on. Okay, and then that's all good to go. And now we can do We can add open scenes. We can get rid of this one. We can close that. We can go into, all right, so let's see. Make sure city is split. I've done this. Switch rock wall and floor back. I did not do that. Add floor across the city. Done. Switch the scene to main, final main. Uh, la la la. Plug. Then load main, main, final. Okay, cool. Then let's go back. Okay, so we did this. Make the video at the beginning, plug, then load, change the scene. Oh, I thought that's what I was doing there. Okay, so it looks like we basically need to make the video and switch the floor and the rock wall back. Now that we know everything is good to go, we can switch those back. OK, 
Okay. Rock wall. Floor. Okay, so now it's fading in and fading out as it was before. So that's good. People are gonna see this and be like, what the freaking heck is happening right here? I guess just all across the line, really. Okay, very cool. So I think that is all of that. Oh, you know what? I need to fix these issues here. Make the video at the beginning. Screenshots, final bugs, and <laughs> I didn't know Todd Howard had said that. That's funny. Your name has changed. Was that you, Braith? Oh, okay, you're Jake Beast. Very cool. Screenshots, final. So what is left? I have to make that video. I have to make that video. I have to take screenshots. I have to check out those final bugs and then it will be good and it'll be good for play testing. So I think that's pretty much it. Was there anything else I could do right now? Is there, cause we still have what, 10 minutes left? I guess not. So we'll probably just call it there. It's just 10 minutes. No, no big deal on that really. And all this other stuff I can't do while you guys are watching anyway. So, Thank you everybody for joining. Hopefully this was in inspirational in some way for you making your own games or just interesting. You don't have to make your own games if you wouldn't like, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, I appreciate everybody who's in the discord, really a lot of positive things being said in there. Um, I'm glad the, po the feedback has been so positive overall on all of this. So thank you so much and have a good day. And I will let you guys know if I'm streaming tomorrow. I guess I don't know what I would be streaming since this should be done. But if I have something to stream, I will be streaming it. Bye.